Understimulation can occur when something is too easy, maybe too repetitive, and it can also occur when someone needs more intellectual or social stimulation. Understimulated can look like a number of different things. You can show a lack of interest or enthusiasm in certain activities or tasks that you once enjoyed. Uh, you can have difficulty staying focused or being easily distracted by something. Uh, it can be fidgeting or even restlessness, or it even can translate to a lack of sleep or sleep disturbances. How can you approach a child that is understimulated? Well, there's a number of different ways that you can approach understimulated children. Things you can do to help stimulate an understimulated child would be adjust the environment. Maybe it's too dark inside and you need to turn on a light. Maybe you just need to leave a room and go outside. You can jump up and down, get some activity, uh, maybe stimulate your body. Another thing we can do is reduce repetitive behaviors. We can help your child reduce repetitive behaviors by providing alternate activities that'll stimulate his senses and keep him engaged. We can also use positive reinforcement to stimulate an understimulated child. Doing so might look like using verbal praise or reward when he displays appropriate behaviors or responds to a new activity. To stimulate an unstimulated child, we can also do sensory activities. We can play with sand, clay, maybe even water. You could provide different textures, colors, and sounds to explore that'll bring you out of that unstimulated environment. 